Hello all, Shedwell here, ready to talk about the next film in my collection, Wishbone from 2000. It's the 38th film in the 50 Decrepit Crypt of Nightmares collection. It's directed by Timothy Gare and stars Tiffany Lancia and Timothy Gare. I'm in a somewhat neutral place presently. On one hand, the 50 Decrepit Crypt of Nightmares as a whole has made me wish I had a pipe to repeatedly bash my brains in, but there have been a very few outliers that don't necessarily make the collection worth it per se, but they give me hope that the collection isn't a total waste of time. Which is good, because I have another 50 pack from Pendulum Pictures called 50 Tombs of Terror that we'll be getting into later. Okay, I could only find the poster for this movie, but I also stumbled upon a book series about a dog named Wishbone, and so we're going to show pictures of the many book covers of Wishbone books. Anyway, Wishbone is about Lori, who receives a tacky knickknack as a housewarming gift from her aunt and uncle that includes a Wishbone. And the person that sold them the Wishbone knickknack said that it will grant the holder a wish, but first someone would have to die. They of course do not pass this information to their niece when they present her the gift. They also didn't mention that they only paid a dollar for talking the pawn shop owner down from the apparently ludicrous price of five dollars. Anyway, people start holding it and making wishes because reasons, and people in the town start dying, but the wishes start coming true. Well, that's almost true, I guess. The people are allegedly missing, not dead, although we see several of them murdered by a hooded figure. This movie isn't good, that's for sure, but it's not terribly made either. I mean, the video and audio quality aren't great, but I can make out what's going on a lot better than in a movie by Todd Sheets. Not to mention that during the night scenes, I can actually see what is going on on the fucking screen, so bonus points for that. But but like I said before, it's not a good movie. The acting is shit, especially the actress playing the aunt character, who is just the worst. Luckily, she's only in the first few minutes, until she gets a scene outside a bingo joint that goes on way too long. But overall, I guess this movie is at least not horrible, just bad. So if I was going to give it a grade, I guess I'll give it a C-, because like I said, it's not horrible, and it's not terribly made either. It's almost adequate. Almost. Definitely a high point of the 50 Decrepit Crypt of Nightmares. Well, tomorrow we finish out Richard Linkletter's Before Trilogy by watching the third and final film in the trilogy, Before Midnight. Will it be as good as the first two were? That is one hell of a tall order, and I honestly don't remember how I felt about it as I've only seen it one another time. That's tomorrow. See y'all then.